I heard him crying. He was hungry. Darling, stop. Charlie is tired. You both are. I should put him down in his cot. Hand him to me and take yourself off to bed. I was thinking of visiting the park with him tomorrow. The three of us. Together. Oh yes. That would be lovely. He'll need a good night's sleep before such a big day out. Please give him to me. He's such a good boy, isn't he? Quiet as a mouse. He never cries. Not now, not ever. I wonder what his first word would have been. Arthur, please. <laughs> Arthur. Maybe. Maybe Papa. Yeah. But we'll never know now. Thanks to you. That is nothing but fantasy. I know the truth, Molly. I know the difference between fantasy and reality! Look at his face. That child would never have spoken. Eyeless, noseless, a deformed skull. He's better in heaven than living a loveless life down here. Crippled or blind, I don't care. I still love him! If you truly loved him, if you truly loved me, then you would have been the one to show him mercy and release him from a cursed life! <coughs> But you're nothing but a meek and spineless mouse. See how they run blind to the truth. See how they run hide down here forever. They all run after the farmer's wife. My darling husband. Comes with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a thing in your life? It's three blind mice. Rot with him in the dark. I've never seen such a pathetic sight in all my life. Come on, Arthur. We both know you're too weak to do anything. Arthur isn't here anymore. See how they run.
Take the ties with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a thing in your life as three?